If you had a polygon of a thousand sides and you were looking at it, it would look like a circle. And when you do that, you come up with some very interesting correspondences between the numbers of various words and phrases and names and numbers that are used to describe geometric relationships. I'm very interested in sacred geometry as a tool to be used by artists, architects, builders, graphic designers. The point I want to emphasize is that when you use this, the unmarked straight edge and you use the compass, what you're doing is you're, you, you start, the creative process is going to start up here. It's going to start with your imagination. You're going to conceive of an, an idea. Now what you want to do is you want to project that out into the two-dimensional world, just like if anybody's a builder or an architect, you'll know that in the old days they created blueprints. Now they're not blue anymore really, but they actually create the two-dimensional version, which is step one. From here you go on to the two-dimensional. Or you want to create a hexagon? Here's how you do it. You want to create a pentagon? Here's how you do it. You want to create any particular shape. Those techniques that you learn with your straight edge and compass transpose directly into the final manifestation of that idea in 3D space.